Hi everyone, this is Dr. Peter Leo, and I'm here to talk about hand hygiene during this difficult time. We know that everyone's supposed to be observing social distancing, and that's important, but we also want to keep our hands really clean so that we don't transmit the virus from people to people, but also to ourselves. We don't want to touch our face if there's any virus on our hands. So this has been a big dilemma for people with sensitive skin, and particularly for those with hand eczema, because all of the washing and of course the hand sanitizers are incredibly damaging to the skin. So a couple of tips. First of all, fortunately, it turns out that washing with a gentle cleanser and water is probably better than hand sanitizer. So that's that's really good news for us because I actually think that's more manageable if you have sensitive skin. The hand sanitizers that are usually alcohol-based are extremely irritating to many people, even if they have normal skin, but if their skin is sensitive or already damaged, it can be a real problem. So using a gentle cleanser, something mild and non-irritating, uh, ideally one that is designed for sensitive skin is great. And we wanna wash for about 20 seconds. Uh, and we wanna make sure we really let that get in on all the surfaces of our hands. We wanna try to get under our nails too, get the backs of the hands. You know, there's all these little tricks for making sure we do everything, lace the fingers together. And then we wanna rinse them it's important to know that you don't have to use super hot water either. Uh, warm water is fine, it should feel pleasant. You can probably even do it in cold water, but it just takes longer to rinse it if it's really cold, but it, it doesn't seem to affect the efficacy of removing the virus and damaging the virus, uh, it's, its little protective layer. So warm water, gentle cleanser, uh, shake them off really well, pat dry, and then moisturize. It's really important to moisturize right after because that will help seal in the water and protect your skin. And I think in general, for our sensitive skin patients, that's a better way to go. In between, if you do need to use some hand sanitizer, uh, you certainly can, but it's important to moisturize after that, after it dries, let it fully dry and then put your moisturizer on. Ideally, you don't wanna moisturize before it because if you put moisturizer on and then try to hand sanitize, it actually doesn't do a very good job. All of the lipids from the moisturizer actually interfere with it. So it's best to get those hands clean, let them dry off completely, and then put our moisturizer on. I hope that's helpful. We'll be sending more tips like this soon. And thank you so much for your attention and stay well.